This is problem number four from section 2.5. In this problem, they say solve the equation and inequalities. And they give you part A, part B, and part C. So let's go ahead and solve these. Go straight along here. We'll start with A, which is the easier one to start with. We have absolute value of 2x minus 9 equals 1. How do we solve this? Well, we've solved a few of these absolute value equations. We know we take the what's on the inside here, and we set it equal to the positive version and the negative version of uh, what's on the right side of the equation. So we can say 2x minus 9 equals 1, or 2x minus 9 equals negative 1. Let's add the 9 over. We get 2x equal 10. Divide by 2, you get x equals 5. So that's one solution. Or add 9. Add 9 here. You get 2x equals 8. Divide by 2, you get x equal 4. So for the first part A, 5 and 4 are two solutions here. Now for part B, you see we have an inequality and you see it's less than one. And then for part C, you have a greater than one. These two inequality signs matter because we can set up this, uh, we can set up these inequalities uh, in two different ways. One's going to be a, both are gonna be compound inequalities, but one's gonna be like an and inequality and the other one's gonna be like an or inequality. So, part B. It says that 2x minus 9 is less than 1. So what this means is 2x minus 9 is going to be less than 1, or just like with the other one, that's the positive version, or we're going to have to change this one to a negative one. But when we change it to a negative one, we need to flip that sign. So it means 2x minus 9 has to be less than 1, or it has to be greater than negative 1. Well, any time you see a less than after the absolute value signs, so absolute value less than, there's a special, basically, uh, property that you can use. So we can set this up as an, uh, this would be an and compound inequality. What does that mean? Uh, it means to squeeze two x minus nine in between negative one and one. Because it has to be less than one, so it needs to be between negative one and one. So we're gonna say that negative one is going to be less than two x minus nine, which is less than one. So you can see we end up with a compound inequality here. Now we're gonna add nine to each side. We get eight less than two x less than 10. Divide by two and we get four less than x less than five. So our solutions for this problem are gonna be from four, now we have a range, to five. But because we use the less than sign, we gotta use parentheses for our interval notation. So in our first problem, because it's an equation, we have two solutions. In our second problem, we have a range of solutions between four and five. All right, so any solutions in between four and five will satisfy our inequality. Now for part C. So part C, now we're going to use, because it says greater than one, this is an or compound inequality. Because it has to be greater than one, it's either gonna be greater than one or it's gonna be less than negative one. So if we look at that on a graph, and I actually I probably should have done that here. So if we just kind of graph this uh, one, it says less than one. So this is, uh, for this first one, this was less than one. So we would have a arrow going that way. Or we have to flip that inequality sign and the negative one, or we would have this. So you can see that we'd have them pointed at each other, which is this type of inequality. Well, for this other one here, if we take this number line, it says greater than one. So that's one here. Open dot goes this way, right? 
uh, negative 1, then we'd have to flip the sign so we could say less than negative 1. That'd be here, going that way. Notice they're not pointed toward each other. Because they're not pointed toward each other, uh, we can't use this type of compound inequality. We just have to use, uh, we just have to write one inequality, then say or, and then write the other inequality. So we're going to say 2x minus 9, just how it's written here is greater than 1, or 2x minus 9 is less than negative 1. So then we can add the 9 over, we get 2x greater than 10, divide by 2x is greater than 5. Or, add the 9 over, you get 2x less than 8, divide by 2x is less than 4. So if we write this in interval notation, if x has to be greater than 5, that means we're going to go from 5 to infinity parenthesis, parenthesis, and if x has to be less than 4, then we're going to go from negative infinity up to 4, and we'll use a union there, and that's our solution in interval notation. Hopefully that makes sense how we do those compound, or not the compound, but the absolute value inequalities.